Dallas.js List staff photographer Dallas Cowboys Executive Vice President, CEO, and Director of Player Personal Stephen Jones, left, answers questions next to owner Jerry Jones, center, and head coach Jason Garrett during a pre-draft news conference at the Star in Frisco, Texas, Tuesday, April 24, 2018. J.S. Lee, The Dallas Morning News This spring, the Cowboys got some flack for passing on former Seahawks safety Earl Thomas for an overall quiet offseason. Dallas Cowboys COO, Executive VP, Director of Player Personal Stephen Jones says that's all a part of the team's free agency philosophy. In a recent interview with Sports Illustrated's Albert Breer, Jones shared why NFL teams can't make a living in free agency and that no team is ever one player away, the biggest thing is just that free agency, I just don't think you can make a living there, Jones said. That's what we've always said. I think you're overpaying in free agency most of the time. Free agents are overvalued because you're competing in a market where you've got teams that don't have as many players they have to spend on, have to use cap space on, and the other thing is, I don't think you're ever one player away. It's a building process. You've got to have some really good quarterbacking to win championships, but you've got to put a good team around him. That whole theory that you're one player away, it's one that we don't buy into like you might have in the past. Although they passed on Thomas, the Cowboys signed a few lower-profile free agents in wide receiver Randall Cobb, defensive end Kerry Hyder and defensive tackle Christian Covington. The Cowboys appear more preoccupied with keeping their own young talent in Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Demarcus Lawrence and Byron Jones all entering contract years. However, there have even been hang-ups in that department with Lawrence as the Cowboys opted to franchise tag him for the second straight season. Still, Jones made it known that the Cowboys are planning on taking care of their own first. I've always said it good players get paid like they're great, average ones get paid like they're good, and so on, Jones continued. Our philosophy, at the end of the day, is that if we sign a guy in free agency right now, we're basically giving up a player on our roster at some point that we'll want to keep, whether it's a Jalen Smith, it's Chidobi, a Woozy, it's Byron Jones. Related, what Cowboys free agency moves mean for their draft needs? Obviously, we're going to take care of these top four guys Zeke and Doc and Amari and D-Law. And then, we'll get into the next wave of guys, the next wave, Leighton Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith, where it starts to be a log jam is, when you look, we've never paid our linebackers a lot of money, and we've got two, I think, rare ones in Jalen and Leighton, Jones said to Sports Illustrated. That'll be where the log jam starts when you figure out how to pay the pass rusher, the corners, the receiver, the quarterback, the running back, across the board on the offensive line, and then try to pay a couple linebackers. That's when you start to have to get super creative. And if you go out and do a deal right now that's not efficient, you're starting to take some creative money away that hopefully is going to help you keep Jalen, hopefully help you keep both corners. We'll just have to see.